five. Let's go, let's look at number six here. Number six is asking, find the dimensions of a rectangle with a perimeter of 100 centimeters whose area is as large as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me, let me click this link here just so see I can see what diagram I get. So give me a second here. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this up. Okay, okay, so it doesn't actually give me a diagram, so I'm gonna have to draw this out here. So it's asking us, I want to find the dimensions of a rectangle with a perimeter 100 centimeters. So I have P here is 100 centimeters whose area is as large as possible. A here, I'm gonna to have to maximize here. And then I have a rectangle as well. So this problem here, looking at this problem, every time I wanna say, uh, I wanna maximize or minimize something, this here is an optimization problem. And this here is, um, uh, I'm gonna write here optimization problem. And every time we have an optimization problem, we have to follow a specific step. So basically what we're gonna to have to do first is we are going to have to, um, and this is actually typically seen in a pre-calculus pre -calculus, uh, course here. So grade 12 calculus and vectors if you're in Ontario and pre-calculus if you're in the U.S. here. So in an optimization problem, our first step, what we're going to have to do is uh, find, our, find our formulas. Or basically, actually, but even before we do that, let's draw a diagram. And this is actually our very, very useful for our diagram here. So I have dimensions of a rectangle who which with a perimeter of 100 centimeters. So this here, P would equal 100. So I have written down here and whose area is as large as possible. So I can say here, this here would equal X and this here is going to equal Y. X here is going to be the length. Y here is going to be our height. And this here, now we, what we can do is we can actually write an algebraic expression or write two algebraic expressions for the perimeter, right? So I know that P here is going to equal two times X, two to basically 2x two 2x uh, plus y, right? This here is um, my perimeter of a rectangle formula. I know the perimeter is equal to 100, right? So 100 is gonna equal two, 100 equals two x plus y. And what we're gonna have to do with this with this perimeter here is I'm going to have, I want to isolate for a variable. And in this case here, uh, I'm going to, let's isolate for, let's, let's isolate for y. It doesn't really even matter which one you isolate for. And I'll show you why we have to do that. So I have two x plus y. I can uh, use um, distributive property to uh, make this as two x plus two y, and then uh, I can simply just divide both sides by two x. So I would have hundred over two x here equals two y, and then hundred over two x. I can actually simplify into this. It's just simply fifty over x over two y, and then y would equal here. This is simply just fifty divided by 2x, right? And this here, I can even simplify this even further to y here would equal 25 over x. And this here is going to be my first uh, my first uh, equation that I'm going to have to use um, to uh, to find the dimensions here. So I know that y here is in terms of uh, uh, x here, in terms of our length here. And then what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to use, actually start using calculus. So in this case, I'm going to have to write an equation for my area, right? I know that area I know just sitting right here. I know that area equals length times width, right? So x times y. I know that area is also equal to x times. And then I, as you can see here, I have a y in terms of x, right? I have 25 over x here. So right here, this is 25 over x, right? So this here is our is kind of our formula for our um, uh, for 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 our area here. And before we even actually do the um, uh, do do the uh, derivative here, we can say that um, we can say here that this we can actually cancel these x's out actually. So um, uh, our area, or actually, well, what we can do if we want to find the derivative, what we have to do is we actually have to do dA over dx. Right? This here is our kind of derivative for uh, of our area in terms of x and this here you could uh, you can obviously you can also do two uh, one of two things here you can actually simplify this guy before um we do the derivative or do it do the derivative first and simplify after so because i've already written the derivative i'm going to do it before uh after here so again i'm using product rule and i'm simply saying um actually let me change this to 25 times x minus one it might be a bit easier for us to do our derivative using this 
let me just double check my work and make sure I do have this right as well. So I'm dividing both sides by 2x here. I get 50 over x, which is good. I'm dividing 50 by 2 again to get 50 over, yeah, 50 over 2x. Yes, because I'm doing, give me a second here. Just double check my algebra here. Uh, 50 over 2x. I'm just double checking this this kind of step here. I'm dividing both sides by 2. So you can simply say I am multiplying by half here. So here we get 50 over 50 over 2x, which is 25 over x. Okay, that's good. So I'm taking the derivative of this guy here. So I'm if I want to take the derivative here, I'm taking the derivative of the first guy here. So that's of x here, which is simply 1 times 25 over x minus 1 plus and then I have x here, and I'm going to take the derivative of this guy here, right? And the derivative of this guy here is 25 of x minus 1 here is simply just 25 x minus 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is simply just 25, right? So I can, um, the, what I can do is now I can uh, simplify our, our terms here, and I can, what I can do is I can set this guy to 0. So I'm going to set our derivative to 0 in order to us, for, for us to maximize our area. I can now... Uh, multiply one in so i have one uh 25 to the power of, uh to x minus one plus and then i have this guy here which is 25 x times 25 x minus two and oh sorry and this here would equal i could rewrite this as tw one over 25 x plus i have 25 x over 25 x minus two and now what I can do is I can actually cancel these guys out here. So I get 1 over 25x plus uh, x over x. Or this is now uh, 2 here, sorry. Uh, this is squared, which means I can actually cancel out these guys as well. So I get 1 over 25x plus this is now simply 1 over x here. And this here is going to equal again, 0. Or these guys all equal 0. And what we can do here is we can actually solve for our x value, right? So I'm going to I'm going to move x to the other side. So we get negative 1 over x equals 1 over 25x. And what I can do here is I can actually cross multiply here. So I have negative 1 times 25x, which is negative 25x. And this will equal x here. And the x's here are going to, um, in this case here, the x's are actually going to uh, uh, cancel out, right? So this here, this what 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 this means is that um, this here, our our length here, or are the dimensions of a perimeter of a perimeter whose hundred here is actually twenty five, right? So this here just means that because I can't again, these x's here cancel out, which means that the um, the derivative is actually independent. Of our uh, of these dimensions here, so 25 here is our answer, and as you can see, 25 is going to be our x value for uh, for this answer here. So I can basically just um, I can actually erase this, and I can get for you. Let's see. Um, yeah, one over x. Yeah, I, when what I could have done here before is I actually could have done, um, I could actually do uh, x over 1 over 25x, and then, or sorry, 25 over 1 over x, sorry, 25 over x here. I can cancel all these terms here and then take the derivative with respect to 25. And as you can see, the derivative of d over a here of 25 is simply just 1, right? And then 1 here, and if I set this to 0 here, this wouldn't exist. So... When I, when I were to do dA here, it's going to basically equal 1. And if I set derivative to 1 here, this is no good, right? The math is no good here, so, which means uh, the derivative is basically independent of that. So basically what I'm saying is that the area here is simply 25, or it's actually um, the dimensions here is actually going to be equal 25 here. So it's actually independent of our derivative here. So I can basically say, therefore, uh, x here is going to be 25. And then all I'm going to have to do is I, I'll have to do is sub this x here back into one of these area, uh, area, um, our area formulas here, to get uh, to get our uh, our our um, or I can sub it back to our perimeter to get our formula our our y value. Sorry, so I have p here equals two x plus y. I know that this here is a hundred is two times twenty five plus y here. 
and then I'm doing here is 100 equals using foil 2 times 25 is 50 plus 2 y 100 minus 50 here is simply just 50 over 2 y y here is going to equal 25 so therefore the dimensions for the largest area so therefore you can say um, dimensions of rectangle with P equals 100 centimeters is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters will give us our maximum area of this case here, of this case here. So this solution here is correct, 25 by 25, although they did not show any work here. So the solution is correct, poor, poor analysis because no work is shown, but logic is correct. The logic is there. So the solution here is correct.